Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to see the concept of event handlers and we are going to reuse the package that we have developed in our earlier video tutorial related to logging. So let's rename our package and add the words event handler to the package name. Now, this is the e logging underscore event handlers package for which we will handle the event on error. We can handle any event but in this case we will handle the event on error. What we want to do is instead of our log getting generated in this table, the system table, we want to generate our log in our customized logging table which is a very simple tuple having only three columns. There is packet name, source name and error description. So it will be a simplified version of our system log table. So let us add an execute SQL task through which we will insert the data in our table. Let us provide database connection to it. Let us provide an insert statement using which we will insert data into our logging table. It has got three columns. So let us put three question marks. That is three parameters. Let us go to parameter mapping. Let us add three parameters. The first one will be the system property of package name because we want to know from which package error has occurred. Second will be source name. Third will be error description. Direction will be input. Data types will be and where again. Now the parameter name first one is parameter 0, second is parameter 1, third is parameter 2. Okay. So let's execute our package. Now we can see that in control flow our task has failed. And on error of this task our event handler has ran and our execute SQL task inside the event handler has run successfully which means it must have inserted the record in our database table. So let us go to our logging table. So we can see that it has inserted this record related to error description in our logging table. So we can see the detailed description by going into notepad. Thank you.